Uh, next, we'd like to talk about uh, our respiratory policy. Uh, we know that there are some diseases that are uh, contracted through exposure to somebody who may be coughing, uh, spitting up, uh, or uh, other ways of, of uh, contracting them. Uh, more specifically, tuberculosis and, and uh, these types of diseases are still out there. Uh, we do run tests from time to time uh, to our employees as, as uh, they would like. Uh, the uh, exposure to this can be uh, greatly reduced by the following methods. If you know of a patient that has tuberculosis, we need uh, you to put a uh, HEPA mask on uh, and uh, these HEPA masks are issued to you. We also test each year to make sure that uh, they are properly fitting to you. The other thing that we'd like you to do is also put a dust mask on the patient as well. This acts as a, another uh, barrier uh, to uh, reduce the exposure to tuberculosis. There are other types of respiratory types of uh, illnesses that are less threatening, uh, simply coughs, colds, uh, and uh, flu uh, virus are also uh, uh, through exposure to uh, somebody who has a respiratory type of illness. If we are uh, dispatched to somebody that is showing flu type of symptoms, we would like you to put your HEPA mask on uh, as you report to the house uh, to uh, reduce the exposure to any sort of uh, airborne type of pathogens. Uh, and simply explain to the folks uh, that uh, you, you know that you are uh, exercising caution. Uh, make sure you're wearing these gloves as as well, uh, and uh, avoid contact any body substance uh, that uh, may you might come in contact with. Again, our masks are disposable. We don't want you to reuse them. We want you to uh, dispose of them properly and make sure that you wash your hands. Uh, after any exposure that you've had to anybody with a uh, respiratory type of illness. Some of the symptoms that we look for for respiratory types of illnesses are uh, a cough uh, where a sputum might be coming out of the person's mouth. Uh, any nausea or vomiting uh, is uh, sometimes a symptom. Uh, a uh, fever, night sweats, uh, that type of thing. Uh, can also indicate that the person may uh, be uh, carrying the tuberculosis type of virus or uh, something as simple as the flu virus. Again, take caution when you, you hear these types of symptoms to uh, protect yourself from any respiratory illness.